Uh, I'm flying backwards. This is not good. Stop. You jumping in? Oh, here the gum look. Hi, guys. Are you okay? I just want to let you know where the exits are. The exits are there and there. I can't seem to be able to adjust my engines. Oh, this is not going to go well. Crashed. Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. This is VTOL VR and it's available on Steam. A big thank you to the developers for sending me this review key. Also, they'll give me a Steam key to give away. So, go into the giveaway. All you need to do is leave a comment, like the video, and I'll pick one winner at random in a few days. Good luck to everybody. The game is still in early access. You seem to be on an aircraft carrier. I'm playing on the Oculus with just controls. Okay, let's head to the ready room. Right, we're in the ready room. Hello, mate. Okay, select new pilot. Vehicles, right, select a vehicle. We've got the AV42C. That one's coming soon. We'll go for that one then, the Kestrel. I might need a tutorial, I've not played this game before. The island. Right, I'm going to select the island. Missions, training. Yep, start the training. Right, mission briefing. Okay. All right, we're in a hollow deck. The game's loading. Got my seat in the right position. Equip the helmet and ready. Right, put on the flight helmet. Oh, wow. That was cool. Welcome to the AV-42C. First, let's keep the bird from rolling away by using the brake lock. Okay, here we are in a, a nice cockpit. This looks amazing. I can actually see my um, helmet, all the glass on my helmet and everything. That looks really cool. We've got a little bubble head here, look. Right, let's um, enable brake lock. Now let's move on to the startup sequence. First, turn on the main battery. Okay. Let's restore power for all the electronic equipment on the aircraft. Right, flick that up somehow. Now there we start go. the auxiliary power unit, or APU. This will keep the battery charged while we complete the startup sequence. Okay. Wait a moment to allow the APU to spool up. We're now ready to start up the engines. Left engine. Right engine. Keep an eye on the engine gauges and wait for the RPM to settle. I can hear the engines behind me. The engines are now supplying electrical power, so we can turn off the APU. Turn that off. Now we can turn on the heads up display. Okay. The HUD, or heads up display, shows you attitude, altitude, velocity, targeting reticles, and other important flight data at a glance. Now turn on the multifunction displays, or MFDs. That looks really cool. Uh, oh, I just hit my table. Okay, I'm back. I put my seat back a little bit because my table was right here and I was hitting my table. So now I've got plenty of room. Turn on the MFD. While you twist these ones. 
Three to do. The MFDs give you access to aircraft features such as weapon configuration, navigation maps, sensors, etc. You can access these features by pressing the corresponding buttons around the edge of the monitor. Okay. You'll learn more about the features of the MFDs in a later tutorial. Okay. The vehicle is now ready to fly. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about basic flight controls, taxiing, takeoff, and landing. Okay. Next tutorial then. Mission complete. Finish the mission. Right, next one is basic flight. This will be fun. This is where I crash. Put the helmet on. Welcome to the basic flight tutorial. We'll skip the starter procedure now and pick up where we left off in the last one. The main flight controls are the joystick and throttle. You can grip them by holding the grip buttons or toggle lock your hands to them by tapping the grip buttons. Let's start with taxiing. Grab onto the main flight controls now. Okay. Wow. That feels really intuitive. Throttle. All to right. Steer the front wheel, you will have to twist the joystick on the vertical axis. Yep. In order to get moving, we need to tilt the engines to the forward position. Oh, I'm going backwards. Start by holding the throttle trigger to lock the wheel brakes. Then, press and hold up on the throttle thumb control to tilt the engines forward. The indicator here shows the status of the engine tilt. Oh! Right, I lifted off the ground there. Press and hold up on the throttle. Right, hold up. Right, uh, I'm flying backwards, this is not good. Stop! Uh, right, we're flying now. <laughs> Right, I can't seem to be able to adjust my engines. Oh, this is not going to go well. I crashed. Mission failed. Restart mission. Right, I heard a noise there. Oh, there we go. Try taxiing over to the marked waypoints. Uh, that's the wrong way round. Why am I not turning to the right? Right, that's the break. I don't seem to be able to turn to the right. I can turn to the left. Oh, there we go. This is very strange. So to tilt the engines, you press down on the thumbstick button. Brakes on. Right. Try that again. Restart.
Okay, we're getting there. Right, this is what you call a simulator. Whoops. Okay, stop here. Throttle down and hold the throttle brake trigger. Okay. Let's prepare for a conventional takeoff. Okay. Set the brake lock so you can free up your hands. Remember, if you're... Set the flaps to position one. Right. Make sure all flight assists are enabled. You should be already. Flight assist. Let's check that the engines are tilted all the way forward. The indicator should read zero. Right, where's the indicator? The throttle again and hold the brakes. Oh, there's tilt, right, so... While holding the brakes with your left hand, you can disable the brake lock with your right hand. I've got you. There's my tilt lock. So you hold down the joystick button and you push forward or back. Right, so what did it say? Okay, now taxi onto runway 20. Okay. Bit of thrust. It's quite um it's quite a good simulator actually. Now to take off, raise the throttle to full and steer to keep aligned with the runway. Keep speeding up straight down the runway. Oh. Well, there we go. Oh! Now you can raise the landing gear and set flaps to zero. Right. Landing gear. Landing gear. Flaps to a zero. Now gently steer your nose up to about 20 degrees and keep climbing. 20. We're flying, guys. Wow. You can actually see through the floor. That ocean looks amazing. What was my base down there? Look. Let's practice with the basic flight controls. Rotate the joystick left or right to roll towards your target. Okay. Rotate the joystick forward or back to pitch your nose towards it. Wow. This icon on the heads up display shows your velocity vector, which is the direction you're actually moving. Okay. You can actually see the sun reflecting off the glass. Right, this is really cool. Full throttle. Once you're flying, it's pretty simple. It's the landing and taking off this hard. Great. Fly over to the next point. Right. Oh wow. This is really cool. Right, it's getting a bit cloudy now. You can see the clouds. Great flying. Now let's try landing at the airbase. Oh dear. See the ocean below me. The nose down. It would be nice to have a bit of a haptic feedback on the joystick. So it feels like I'm holding it. Right, slow down a bit. Line up with the runway and continue to bring your speed down. You can use the trigger to 
Oh, there we go, okay, brakes on. Slow it down a bit. Speed 100. Flaps onto one. Speed's 160, I need to slow that right down. Well, this is the scary part. Right, speed's 90. I need to pull up a bit. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Ooh. Slow down. I think I've overshot the runway. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Ooh, we made it. Wow, I can't believe that. Brakes are on. We made it, safe and sound. Wow, that was amazing. Congratulations. This concludes the basic flight tutorial. Next time, we'll make use of the tilting engines and practice vertical takeoffs and landings. That sounds like fun. Right. Okay, I'm really impressed with myself there, guys. I got a massive smile on my face. Vertical flight. Right, let's try this one then. I'm hoping this will be a bit easier. So like the um, Star Trek holodeck. Oh. I can hear my heartbeat. <laughs> Welcome to the vertical flight autopilot training. Vertical flight can be tricky, but by using the autopilot, you'll be a master in no time. First, make sure the engines are tilted at 90 degrees. Okay. Enable the hover autopilot mode. Right. Also, enable the altitude autopilot mode. The hover mode will assist you in staying upright and keeping your horizontal velocity under control. The altitude mode, when combined with the hover mode, will take control of the engines and convert inputs into climb or descent rates. In this mode, keeping your throttle lever centered will hold you in a hover. You can raise or lower the throttle to climb or descend. Okay. You can check the position of the throttle lever on the altitude control status indicator on the HUD. Right. When using the hover autopilot modes, keep your left thumb away from the tilt control. Any engine tilt less than 90 will disengage the hover autopilot. Gotcha. Go ahead and lift the throttle to full to take off. Keep climbing until you reach your target altitude. The autopilot will limit your ascent rate to a safe speed. I love all the um, different sounds. Look at that shadow look. That now looks you amazing. Set the throttle lever to the midpoint to hover at this altitude. You should now be in a stable hover. You can make adjustments to the throttle to climb or descend as needed. Okay. So that's higher. Now you can use the joystick to move around horizontally. Alright. Oh, oh cool. The autopilot will handle attitude control. So you just have to tilt the joystick in the direction you want to go. You can also twist the joystick to yaw. You can keep track of your relative horizontal velocity. Oh, there we go. That's really unique how you twist the um, joystick like that. As you move around, study how the autopilot handles the vehicle. It'll help you when you try manually flying it later. Now this is fun. Let's try flying into some targets. Okay. Try hovering at the next series of waypoints. Hover here. Whoop. Right, how do I, f I need to fly over there now, don't I? Um, tilt the engine.
Ah. I'm upside down. Ouch. Okay, let's make our way over there. Right, hover there. So hopefully I'm moving there. There we go. So I'll just push forward to... Forward and twist. Right, too far. I think I need to come down a bit. Does he want me to go in there? Begin to move towards the pad. Adjust oh. your altitude control and steer your velocity back to the sled at points just above the pad. Okay, it's over there. Right. Ooh, it feels really, really strange. Go up a bit. As you approach the pad, Slow your forward speed and way of descent by pulling back on both the throttle and the joystick. Remember to keep making very small adjustments. Yes. I've figured that one out. Okay then, let's try and get this. This is a lot trickier than it looks. Adjust your rate of descent and bring it down nice and gently. Right, let's start to go down. Go for a little bit. Wow, this is a proper sim. Push down. Throttle down and enable the brake locks. How's that? That wasn't too bad. For my first attempt at flying, that wasn't too bad. Congratulations, they completes the tutorial. Yay! Next time we'll learn about manual vertical flight and transitioning into horizontal flight. Oh, yes, that'll be fun. Finish the mission. Advanced tutorial. Vertical flight AP. We've done that one, haven't we? It's under construction lock sale. I'm just going to have to jump into a mission. Recommend training. Getting started. Yeah, we've done all that. Mission briefing. Negotiations for peace have failed. We believe the enemy will strike here first as a stepping stone to the mainland. We have begun preparing coastal air defences. As an AV 42C pilot, you will deliver personnel to the defence sites. Other pilots and soldiers will be arriving by air from the mainland soon. Okay, so. So we're on a mission to deliver troops to the war zone. All right, there's other vehicles around now. There's some troops. What? To the same side and hill side of the island. Open your doors, let them in, and fly them to the objective waypoint. Command out. Open my doors. Okay. Where are my doors? Um. Fuel report. Flaps. Pitch. Doors. Door. Doors open, come on man. Come on guys, get on board. Wow, you can see all the planes taking off now lot. They jumping in. Oh here they come look. Hi guys, are you okay? I just want to let you know where the exits are, the exits are there and there. Are you all in? Okay, we'll close the doors. Doors closed? That looks cool. I am new to this. This is my first training mission, so I hope we've all got parachutes. Right. Main battery on. APU on. Get the engines warmed up. Brake lock, on or off. 
think that's brake on and off. Start the engines. Okay, we've got power now. Put power. Um, I don't know what that one was. I need to turn all these on, don't I? Turn that off for now. Right, so. Ooh. Need to put tilt into zero position. Okay. So now we've got a thrust. And a taxi onto the runway. This is my first real mission. I've got a feeling. Is that enough runway, do you think? Let's go for it. Pull back. Whoa. Right, we're flying anyway. We're in the sky. That's a good sign. Okay, um, flaps. Landing gear up. Full throttle. Right, we need to find the mission. Right, where are we going then? Right, I'm in the sky. I'm flying. There's our base. How do I find where the mission is? I've got autopilot. You okay, guys? Yeah, we're doing fine. Right, the aircraft's flying itself at the moment. I don't know where I'm going. I need to put my maps on. Right, I need to find out where the mission is. MP3 stream. What's the music on? There we go, we've got some in-house entertainment. I could do with an autopilot. Is an autopilot? What's this? Right, navigation. Navigation. Oh, there we go. Objective. Right, so we need to be heading that way. Can I change the music? Next song. Whoa. Turn the volume up. Right, so we need to be heading... Oh, I blacked out. Oh, there we go. Right, so we need to head this way. Right, is that the waypoint there? I need to go into hover mode, don't I? Right, slow down a bit. Slow down. Right, now do I go into hover mode? Auto, hover, there we go. Right, I need to slow down, don't I? Put the engines to... Tilt them to zero, 90. Landing gear. There we go. Landing gear down. Flaps on zero. Oh, 
I'm now in vertical flight mode. So find the waypoint over there. Still got a way to go. So put the flats back into zero. There we go. Too far away. We'll get a bit closer and then go into um, vertical takeoff mode. I've seen a lot of people play this game and I've seen a lot of people struggling. I don't think I'm doing too bad actually. Right, throttle Landing down. Gear. Landing gear. Right, here we go. Landing gear. Put those on to help. Landing, Landing gear is down. Gear. Right, is landing gear down? Landing gear. Gear down. So we're landing over there. Whoa. It's very easy to oversteer. I need to twist it around this way. And there we go. And twist it back to the... That looks really cool looking down out the window and see the um, height and everything. Alright, let's go for it. Clear these buildings and then we'll start to descend. This might look easy guys, it's not. It's really hard. Start making his way down. I'll let the um, I'll let the aircraft um, level itself out. I'm now going down. Mind that building. Try and level off here. Come down. I just need to move left a little bit, right a bit. How's that? That's not bad, is it? Oh, I think we're down, we're down, we're down. Right, we're down, guys. Might need to move that way a little bit. I want to land on the H. Forwards slowly and down, 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 down. Oh, I think we did it. We did it, we're down. Right, engine off. Doors open. Bunch. There you go, guys. Oh, they've gone. Okay, guys, I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. This has been really cool. This is a lot of fun. Looking forward to when they add some more missions and everything and additional training. I had a blast with this title. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one.